How to Kill Katoni Aster Stumps Roots Katoni Aster, which has the botanical name of Katoni Aster panosa is an evergreen shrub but behaves more like a ground cover because it spreads outward in a zigzag pattern. At maturity, it reaches up to 10 feet tall, but grows slowly and is often much shorter than this. Since Katoni Aster has an extensive root system, it often regrows after cutting it down. You must kill the remaining stump and root system with a systematic herbicide. Things you'll need Loppers or hedge trimmers Bucket Herbicide with triclopyr or glyphosate Cooking oil Paint stirrer Foam paintbrush Cut off the top of the Katoni Aster stumps by at least half to one inch to expose the inner white wood. Use loppers for most shrubs, but if the Katoni Aster is large and has many stumps, a hedge trimmer will speed process. Fill a bucket with one cup of an herbicide containing the active ingredient triclopyr and three cups of any cooking oil. Stir the mixture up with a paint stirrer to combine the two well. The cooking oil acts as a surfactant and causes the herbicide to adhere to the Katoni Aster stumps better. Insert a foam paintbrush into the herbicide mixture and paint it onto the cut sections of the Katoni Aster stumps until they are saturated and completely covered. Tips Warnings Apply the herbicide as soon as possible after cutting the Katoni Aster stumps because delaying the application will reduce the effectiveness. If desired, you can use an herbicide containing glyphosate instead of triclopyr but it is not always as effective. If the Katoni Aster shrub produced berries before you cut it down, the seeds will likely sprout in the spring. Remove them by pulling them up with your hands before they establish large roots. Do not apply the herbicide when rain is in the forecast because it will wash it away and reduce the effectiveness.